Welcome to Stanley. Scuba. Sailing. And adventure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Belize, Lighthouse Atoll. Dive site, Tarpon Cave. This dive site starts out extremely shallow with grass, leading to a sandy patch area with large coral heads, ending at a massive wall. We dropped in at the top of the wall and the first thing we encountered was this good sized grouper. I thought I'd be smart and go around this large barrel sponge and meet the grouper face to face on the other side. Apparently the grouper had other plans because as I came around, he was nowhere to be found. The wall was well over a hundred feet down and my buddy was a couple meters off the wall when the first shark showed up and came up behind him. It had a quick look and then was on its way, but that wouldn't be the last shark we saw. As we moved along the wall, this river of blue fish, as I like to refer to them, appeared and started to flow over the edge of the wall. It was quite spectacular. It wasn't long before the next shark showed up and I dropped down a little deeper to get closer to him. The visibility was starting to fade as it was cloudy and overcast and starting to rain above and the wind was kicking up. The sharks were beginning to circle and follow us and would for the remainder of the dive. This video was filmed over the course of two afternoon dives on Monday. November 29th. The first dive was at 2 o'clock and lasted almost exactly an hour with a maximum depth of 79 feet. Dive 2 started at 4.30 and lasted for about 53 minutes with a maximum depth of 70 feet. At times the reef sharks were getting extremely close. I don't know if it was just my imagination, but the sharks seemed more interested in me than the rest of the divers. I don't know if it was my camera rig, the lights on the camera, or my bright blue fins, but they were always very close to me. I'd encountered reef sharks before on other dives, but I've never had them get quite this close before, or spend this much time circling. As the visibility was continuing to degrade, it was exhilarating and disconcerting both at the same time. At some points the sharks passed so closely I felt that I could reach out and touch them, and I probably could have a couple times, but I thought it best not to. At this point the shark looked right at me and swam towards me for just a second. You can actually see his eyes shift as he looks toward the other diver and then moves the other way. Although the visibility was not good, the sharks were so close that I got some decent pictures. I'm not that familiar with Caribbean reef shark behavior, so I wasn't sure if the sharks were agitated or not. At some times it seemed like they were a little twitchy and the circles were getting smaller, but their fins were not pointing directly down so I wasn't sure what to make of the situation. Here the shark swam right between me and the only diver that it was anywhere nearby. I certainly planned after this to go home and do a little research to learn about Caribbean reef shark behavior. It was an exhilarating dive to say the least, or set of dives, and I found it hard to concentrate on anything else but the sharks. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.